sorry, sir. Why do you have to interrupt me, you bird brain, just when I've got Mikhail zeroed in? It's Admiral Reynolds, sir. It's very important he's on the scramble phone. Admiral Reynolds, why don't you say so? Hold well, it. What's the matter? Oh, it hurts, sir. Oh, be brave, man. You're a sailor. <laughs> uh, yes, Admiral. Yes, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, sir, but you caught me right in the middle of a, uh, a, a weapons drill. <laughs> Uh, uh, what can I do for you, sir? Just a reminder about the logistics conference, Binghamton. We convened Saturday at 0800, so give yourself plenty of time to get here. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll do that. I've been looking forward to the conference for weeks, Admiral. I'll be there bright and early. What's that? Binghamton, are you holding a band concert at this time of day? Uh, uh, a band? Uh, no, we don't have any. Uh, uh, the, the, the enemy uh, must be uh, jamming our frequency, Admiral. I'll, I'll call you back, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on out there? What, 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 what? Oh, sure, look out there. <laughs> what in the name of Nimitz is that? Coming Friday, the PT-73 Follies? Kale has dreamed up another way to sabotage the war effort, but he won't get away with it. <laughs> Be brave, sir. A record play when you got real tell. Article for Totem Delicious Tallar. Oh, you know what I mean? Party down. Party down. Pipe down. Now I'm going to take over, saying I'm going to run this whole show. Nobody's going to stop me. See, yeah, because I'm the guy around here. If anyone tries to stop me, I go pop, 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 Yeah. You don't have to get sore about it, Tink. I mean, you know. I ain't sore, Mr. Parker. That's my imitation of Edward G. Robinson. I do about 50 more. Guess who this is? Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian, come here. I'll have you lashed to the mast. Who is it, Betty Grable? Hey, you're <laughs> you're out with our button shoes. Come on, God. Parker, your worries are over. Look what I whipped up. A real, genuine, homemade gazeka box. Oh, you didn't have to go to all that trouble. I mean, just a few card tricks would have done, you know. Card tricks? Why, that's strictly for the peasants. With this, I make a beautiful girl disappear. Here, Mr. Parker, step in the box. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm not a beautiful girl. I'm an officer and a gentleman. Oh, so for the sake of the demonstration, we'll pretend you just got your commission in the waves, huh? Well, why don't you take one of the ladies? I mean... <laughs> Easy. Well, yeah, you're, you're coming. coming. Toes in. Good. Same way, uh... Booge. Now, night. Behold, a miracle. Yeah, you'll never get away from it. What are you worried about, fellas? It's all entertaining. Oh, throw away on your side. No. Hi, gang. Hello, girls. Uh, where's the great Siegfeld? Ah, uh, Mr. Parker. He's in the box. What is this thing? An instant suicide kid? Oh, relax. Skip a few passes of the magic cape, and Mr. Parker is gone. Abracadabra, abracadabra. <laughs> Chef, are you all right? What are you trying to do, get rid of my executive officer? I can explain it. This was too much abra, not enough cadabra. Abra, cadabra, but... The box, the box was too big, the answer was too small. The answer was too small, the box was too big. Well, old girl, it's back to the drawing boards. We're still stuck for an opening act, Skip. How about me? I can tell plenty funny Japanese jokes if Skip doesn't be my straight man. Okay, Uncle Melty, go ahead. Oh, boy, this better be good. <laughs> you guys, come on. 
Fuji, quick, into the pockets. Uh, hello there, Captain. How are you, sir? All right, I give up. Is this a PT base or is the Section 8 ward having their annual picnic? <laughs> oh, no, sir. We're perfectly normal. Uh, straighten up there, girl. <laughs> Well, uh, sir, the men were just putting the show together and, uh, you know, for the men on the main base. <laughs> you must have heard. Oh, yes, I heard all about it. Carpenter heard about it, too. Oh. The Admiral's heard about it. I imagine that even Emperor Hirohito has heard about it by now. Boy, our publicity campaign's really going over. Yeah. Oh, yes, I've heard. Keep out of this. You are bucking for seaman second class. I got a little bit of news for you, too, Mikhail. You're not putting on any show. I've just rung down the curtain. Oh, now have a heart, Captain. A men are starved for entertainment. Where well, there hasn't been a USO troop through here in months. And you know why? Because we are supposed to be conducting a war here, not auditioning for the next edition of the Zigfield Folly. Ha, <laughs> Zigfield! <laughs> <laughs> we could use that as our opening joke. Yeah! <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute, Captain. There's nothing wrong in a, in a men putting together a show, is there, on their own time? Nothing wrong, huh? I'll tell you what's wrong. You're interfering with communications. You're disrupting normal routine procedures. You're misusing naval personnel and you're wasting government property. What's in 